Hello everyone, welcome to Outcasting. I am your host Comic Aryan, welcoming you to a sort of an audio journal life update podcast. So today, the date right now is 17th of July 2021 and the time is of 12.54 a.m. in the night. And I'm drawing something on Photoshop, which is basically a concept art for a skull something. It's it's related to skulls. That's the idea. Um, so that's that's the thing. And uh, I have some thoughts to share today. I th- I think I do. So basically today was a good day actually it was a day where i did some exercise i did some drawing and animation i did a 3d animation actually which was a lot of fun to do by the way because i rarely do 3d animation and when i do i enjoy it a lot mm, so that is the thing um what's cooking is basically th- today i attended this uh this sort of a an improv workshop where this host was so cool and he was i think he was as old as me but he was really uh, entertaining and the idea of improv was something that i was not familiar with but I kind of like it actually the thing is it's uh, like um you get to you get to just be yourself and you just get to be very weird it, it is very i would say liberal and uh, very expressive in nature you get to express what you want and i think that 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 is fun it's like a it's like it's a great coping or a venting mechanism where you just get to express yourself i would love to you know explore improv comedy more because it's it's all about spontaneity and you just have to kind of go ahead with it and you just you know have a lot of fun there was there were random exercises what one of which was basically um you had to come up with a word that doesn't make sense and the next person to you has to make sense of that word so for example a uh, a word which is kimotion has to be made sense of so like uh, one person would say kimotion is a school which teaches the art of of uh, maybe m- m- key making or it 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 teaches the art of making mechanical locks and you just p- make a random word and you make a story out of it i don't yeah so that's the thing and you there were more exercises uh, in which you just had to make sense of random words and and continue the story as we go and that was fun and and i also found out that this guy he, he told us that he does this writing workshops as well which which sounds like a good idea i would love to do a writing workshop there where you know i i, I get to learn the art of you know script writing or the art of storytelling or uh, you know how to write proper movies or tv shows or s- basically like uh, content creation but like fictional i think fictional content creation i don't know it sounded like a good idea man like and it was pretty inspiring it, it was like a it was like a new thing that i had explored after very long and thanks to my folks at college who really made it happen i would say i, I am pretty grateful for that cuz f- after a long time i got to explore something new which was exciting i think the last thing that the last exciting thing that i did in this pandemic other than drawing related things was cycling and i've been enjoying cycling like a, a lot cycling and yoga because i i talk about yoga a lot i think because anyone who does yoga 
cannot stop talking about yoga because that's just how it is like you get to you, you you really like it once you are in yoga once you do yoga there is no turning back like, i think it's it's a great experience which has to be felt by everyone like i keep repeating this but uh, it's just that yoga doesn't take from your body it gives back and like an exercise which leaves you fatigued and and you know you just feel so tired and and your legs are aching and your muscles are pumped and you just want to lie on the bed and 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 that is just some people enjoy it even i enjoy it but yeah you know, yoga from time to time to time makes you feel very good i feel and um i think that is the best part about that um the thing is today was a good day i think i, I like uh there was one thing which which made me very sad was a random video that i found on youtube which turned out to be very deep and and sad because it because it was about this dad who was uh, telling about his son's suicide note and how his son wasn't fine and he killed himself which was a bit grave at and and it i don't know it it made me cry cuz it's so heavy man it's like heavy. It, it makes you feel you kind of it, it, it i don't know man it's just it's very weird i like to con- contemplate it in words but it's basically something that happens and it's like i don't know man it's it's weird basically don't if if you are feeling unwell if you you know genuinely no there there's no not genuinely that's, that's a wrong word to use but if you feel that you are unwell mentally and it is causing you trouble you should really talk to somebody cuz i don't know but even the thing is even i don't sometimes talk when i don't feel good like the thing is you have to give yourself priority like this concept of giving oneself priority is a bit weird for me cuz you you so I've, i've i've been this guy who's usually nice to people and in the process of being nice or extra nice i would say you tend to you know be you, you consider yourself to be a bit expendable and you put yourself uh, you put other people before yourself which ends up being too ta- taxing cuz if you, like the thing is being nice it takes a lot of toll like it takes a lot of effort to be polite and it and it's very comfortable of sometimes to be very rude and 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 just like very not rude but it's it's just that that word extra is the thing that sometimes you are extra nice or you you are extra extra word <laughs> basically that takes energy and and sometimes people don't value that energy so you have to find where to spend that energy mm-hmm. yeah that is a thing actually and um, people are strange which brings me to the idea of somehow it brings me it doesn't bring me to the idea but which kind of relates to the idea of random people and on the road and and the idea of road rage because recently i have been exposed to some concept of road rage because uh, you know you cycle on the road you go on the roads and you are just exposed to it cuz so basically recently my brother got into a major road rage 
and he was lowkey assaulted by this random person and that was a bit traumatic for him and uh, so yeah that made me think had i been in his place dude i would have lost my shit cuz i'm not that good at dealing with road rages cuz i would do like even like i would lose my shit man cuz i'm a bit softer like that but i researched on the internet and i found out some things that i should do in case of road rage so one of the major things that i found out was the first rule of road rage is which i found out was that the first rule is to avoid the road rage the second rule is never abuse in in the road rage if you abuse people i don't know some m- most of the people on this planet find abusers to be very insulting cuz honestly i don't cuz i use them like an impulse and and i curse a lot in my daily routine on at random things out of an impulse out of anger or if i si- find something to be too funny i tend to laugh and uh that is the thing like but some people most of people they get offended and that that causes people might beat you up if you if you curse in a road rage and the third thing is if don't don't assault anyone you don't be the first person to assault always try to defend yourself that is the third thing and if the worst comes to worst defend yourself try to be a bit less offensive and instantly call the police because the cops can let the cops handle it because they are professionals i think and uh, if you, if you do anything you don't take the law in your hands basically that is the thing and if somebody does take the law in their hands make sure you click uh, uh you make sure you click a photograph of their number plate and register that number plate in the police station and tell them about the existence of a stupid person on the road and the police will be aware of that shit the person who attacks you in the road rage i think people they are f- they are weird man sometimes they just what i realized is again today also i i almost got into a road rage my brother and i we almost got into a road rage because this guy was really rude and my brother was like don't be so rude my brother basically told him ki uh, basically may you can be you don't need to be so rude about things and that guy got offended for some reason and uh, yeah an- another almost road rage happened but what in that time was w- what i realized was that people in their daily lives are too angry and they need a they just need an outlet and you don't know when you will you can become an outlet for their anger so you always want to avoid that cuz yeah then then i was like let it be man and my brother and i we just fled fled away had i not done that i'm sure my brother would have wanted to beat the shit out of that guy but again that is taking law in the own hands and that is something you don't want to do in a road rage Mm, that's the thing about that and uh <sighs> fuck man what else was the thing um yeah so mm i think this is it i i don't know how for how long was i blabbering but It's been 14 minutes to be precise. So that was all for this little podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um do let me know in the comment section in my Instagram DMs at Comic Aryan. And if you want to come on my podcast to have a conversation, do let me know in the comment section or via Instagram DM. And if you want me to talk about something in specific you can let me know as well that was your host comic aryan signing out in 3 2 1 bye